Hello once again, YouTube, Duke Nukem 2417 here, using a borrowed camera yet again, borrowed from my brother, because, as I said in my last video, my camera broke, because of Missouri from Rosario Cross Vampire, ported to Mugen, she pissed me off, I threw the controller at the wall, not the controller, the camera, I have thrown controllers before, but I threw my camera at the wall, it died, <laughs> but fortunately, I've managed to overcome that problem with... Well, borrowing my brother's camera, with his permission, of course. And with the items of the month. And to start off, I've got Balls of Steel. Or at least the Balls of Steel Limited Edition Strategy Guide for Duke Nukem Forever. Which has the exact same contents as the original Strategy Guide, which I already have. And also concept art from the entire development process of Duke Nukem Forever. Very nice. There is some weapons right there. If I could turn a friggin' page, Duke and Nega Duke facing off. It's pretty awesome stuff. So yeah, and the Mark Skelton version of Duke Nukem. Very nice. Also, the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time strategy guide. Not the only one out there. And this is not even the only official strategy guide. There are two other official strategy guides for Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time by Brady Games and Nintendo themselves. I do intend to get both of them, and I will do a comparison video, much like I did with those Spider-Man figures, to see what differences there are between the three of them, and how similar they are, etc., etc. And, of course, we have Sega Genesis Secrets Volume 4 by Andy Eddy and Don Navert. Oh, Nauert. It's spelled with a U. And, of course, Sonic the Hedgehog 2 in here, as well as Sega Genesis tips and tricks, none that involve yanking the cartridges out while the power is still on. And finally, we have Turbo Graphics 16 and Turbo Express Secrets. Main reason I got this, even though I've already beaten the game, main reason I got this, because the chapter on Splatterhouse. Even though they get so much of their information wrong, like the names of the monsters and stuff, they don't get them correct at all. But yeah, three, four, five, six, seven numbers. <laughs> Sorry, LGR, if you think I'm ripping that off of you. I respect you massively. You are awesome. But yeah. Four books for the month, and that's not all I'm getting this month. I have finally managed to obtain a figure of Black Widow from Captain America the Winter Soldier. That will be arriving in the mail later this month. And next month, I'm getting my first ever figure arts figure from Bandai of Kamen Rider Kuga. K-U-U-G-A. I might be mispronouncing it, I don't know. But yeah, this is my stuff for this month so far. And down a little bit to show the other two books. And this is probably the shortest video I've done, and I'm not going to inflate it any longer with stupid comments, so if you people want to leave comments that will probably not be stupid, <laughs> if anyone out there wants to leave comments, feel free to do so. Thank you for watching. I'm willing to bet that all of you thought that the books for the month were the only things I was getting this month. For those of you who did think that, you all thought wrong, and I'm not going to gloat about it, but, you know, whatever. Anyway, as it turns out, there is, in fact, another item for the month that has just arrived in the mail. Well, it arrived yesterday. That item is Marvel Legends Infinite, Captain America, The Winter Soldier, Black Widow. The only member of the team I did not have until yesterday. <laughs> and for those of you who think... And she just fell off the thing. The stage, if you will. Her feet are really small and the hinges on the ankles are kind of annoying. But other than that, she's pretty good. No, she's going to sit for this review. Not review, but uh, those of you who think that I'm just bragging about getting a loose figure off of Amazon or eBay, here's the package she was in. I don't have the tray. Well, I do have the tray. It's just somewhere out of sight right now. And, of course, she wasn't the only thing in the packaging. Her extra open hands. She had one hand open, one pose to hold a pistol, but she didn't come with any pistols, so... The alternate long-haired head, as seen in Captain America, the Winter Soldier. And the torso and gun of the shield mandroid. I already had the left leg, courtesy of the Winter Soldier. But yeah, perfectly posable. Well, other than no bicep hinge and one hinge for the elbow. Other than that, she's awesome. This is an awesome figure. I now have the complete Avengers team. I wish they would have made a figure of Tony's armor from the Avengers, but whatever, why am I holding her upside down? I have no idea. But that is not all that arrived in the mail yesterday, because as it turns out, hey, shit! It was meant to arrive for next month, showed up 
yesterday. Behold! Common Rider Kuga, or Kuga, or however you pronounce it. SH Figure Arts. Masked Rider Kuga. Common Rider Kuga. This is simply awesome. Probably one of the highest quality. If you hear this weird groaning sound in the background, that's me trying to open a little tray. All the spare hands are there. This is probably the coolest figure I own at the moment. I mean, seriously. How many other figures do you own? I can give you a thumbs up. <laughs> That's awesome. He has several interchangeable hands, all of which go on and on. I don't have his bike yet, though. His bike is sold separately. I will get that in a few months, hopefully. This is the first ever figure arts. This is the first figure arts figure that I own. And it's amazing. The articulation is. Right up there with Marvel Legends, you have swivel thighs, double, crap, that's the camera moving, that's Black Widow falling off the printer, double, or multiple, ball joints in the shoulders, because you have the one ball joint in the chest itself, see right here, and you have the actual shoulder swivel and hinge, the freaking shoulder pads are hinged, you have a bicep swivel, double hinged elbows, ball jointed wrists, multiple torso ball joints, it's just awesome, I will be getting the bike for him eventually, not anytime soon though because reasons <laughs> and yeah that's an addition in addition to the four books I already got this month we have Black Widow and Kamen Rider or Masked Rider Kuga I really wish they would have ported his series to America Masked Rider Kuga it could have probably hopefully come up with a better title than and the batteries are going out that's wonderful <laughs> so I need to bring this video to an end uh, thank you all for watching I don't know if I'm going to be doing any videos next month, but hopefully I will. So yeah, stay tuned for more. Thank you all for watching.